Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Karo Ahsan bin Kamaruddin with metric number 1711467. Okay, today I will present my final year project with title of Coconut Shell Ash as Partial Replacement of Cement in Concrete Production. My supervisor is Dr. Nadia. First of all, I apologize if there's other sound because I'm recording outside of my house and it's raining right now. Okay, for the introduction, I will explain briefly because it has been explained uh, in FY21. Okay, for the for problem statement, first, the, uh, the issue related to carbon dioxide global emission, and the second one is the waste material disposal problem, and the third one is the high cost of conventional building material. All these problems lead to I choose this topic. Okay, then my objective is to analyze the physical and mechanical properties of the concrete with coconut shell ash in a replacement. And the second one is to determine the optimum percentage of coconut shell ash replacement in concrete. Okay, next I will proceed uh, briefly about the literature review or the past literature. Okay, this is the comparison on the effect of the performance by FHSA based on the past literature. Okay, I am focused on these three the slum, the compression strength, and the split tensile strength because I do it in F42. Uh, based on past researchers, uh, the slum will be decreased when we increase the percent replacement of CTA. Same goes to the compression strength and split tensile strength because there's many factors you can see in the slide. Okay, next, the methodology. Okay, for the methodology flow, I will explain briefly about how I do it in F42. The first is burning and the cooling process of the coconut shell waste. I will undergo the uh, burning and the cooling process and also uh, to produce the ash. And also I will go the curing process for the aggregate. Next, I will proceed to the mixing process. I mix all the mix accordingly and carefully. Last, uh, next, I go to the test for the concrete, which divided into fresh and hardened concrete test. Uh, the slum test, the compacting factor test, the compressive strength test, and the splitting tensile strength test. Then all the uh, details are measured and report and come up with one conclusion. I will compare it with the normal concrete without the CSE. Okay, for the material selection, it can be divided into five the fund aggregate, the cost aggregate, the water, the cement, and coconut oil ash. I will show you the value of this material after this. Okay, this is my concrete mix design. After I go through all the form and using the method of ODE, I, I got the, uh, the cement is 410 kg, water is 205, fun grade 575, and the cost grade 1220. And then I convert into uh, cube and uh, cylinder calculation. Okay, this one is the total cost aggregate that uh, for my mixture is 126.88 kg. The fine aggregate is uh, 59.92. The cement is 39.43 kg. The water is 21.44 and the coconut shell ash is 3.2. All this uh, value is added with 25 contingency to over any circumference during the mixing process. Okay, next we will proceed with the test for concrete. Okay, for the fresh concrete test, uh, I do the slum test, which is the basic method for evaluating the concrete workability. And then I will proceed with the compacting factor test is to determine the properties of the concrete and also to test the workability of the fresh concrete. Then, I will proceed with the compressive strength test and split tensile strength test. This is, uh, uh, the picture is from the lab itself. I do it uh, in the UIA, at UIA. Okay, <clears throat> the compressive strength test is to determine the maximum amount of compressive load a material can bear before fracturing. And the split tensile strength is to assess the property of concrete, which is tensile strength of concrete. Next, I will proceed with the result and discussion. Okay, the first one is the slum value. As we can see in the table, the slum value for mix A with a uh, percent of zero is 110. The B 
for 5% is 37, C 10% is 21, and mix B 15% of safe A 15 mm. This can be classified into two types, which is two slum and zero slum. This was my observation. Now. And the mix A with 0% of safe A has the highest slum, which is 110. Uh, and D has the lowest slum value, which is 15 mm. It can be cl uh, classified uh, for, workability, for workability for mix B, C, and D because the value is below 50 mm. Okay, the result reveals that by adding says E, the mixture will less flowable and workable. We can see in the table and also in the graph. Due to the presence of the says E in concrete, have more surface area and absorb more water. So the trend of the slum says is steadily decreasing as the percentage of says A increase. Okay, next we proceed with the compaction factor ratio. This is the table of the result and uh, the graph you can see in the slide. Okay, it was accomplished by dividing the partial compacted value with the fully compacted value. And then we got the compacting factor. The greater the compacting factor, the more workable the concrete to be mixed. And as we can see, the highest compacting factor is uh, <clears throat> mixed with 0% of CSA, which is 0 0.945, while the lowest ratio of the mix is 15% of CSA with 0 0.857. Okay, as the percentage of the CSA increase, the compacting factor ratio falls progress, progressively. So the workability of the concrete also will decrease. Indicate that more water was absorbed during the concrete mixing and resulting in lower compacting factor value. Okay, next for the compressive strength test. Okay, the result will be included in the next slide. Okay, six samples were made for each mix and tested on uh, 7, 14, and 28 day. The compressive strength increased progressively as the curing uh, period lengthened due to the hydration of the cement and coconut shell ash. All the samples exceeded the target compressive strength, which is 30 megapascal in 28 day. So uh, the mix with 5% of CSA is show the highest compressive strength compared to the others. <coughs> the increase in concrete compression strength show a positive trend, positive trend from day seven to day 28. But, uh, the compressive strength of mix, which content of 10% of CSA is outperformed or more than the mix with content 15% of CSA. So we can conclude that the compressive strength of the concrete decrease as the coconut shell ash content increase. The replacing cement with CSA can enhance the compressing uh, strength of concrete, but up to only 5%. This is the table for, for the compressing uh, strength test. We can see uh, from this one is, uh, is uh, decrease it decrease when, uh, when we increase the percentage, but it will increase the strength when we lengthen the curing time. Okay, next for the splitting tensile strength test. Okay, there's four samples of cylinder concrete were made for each mix and evaluate on day seven and 28 day. As the curing period lengthen, the tensile strength gradually increases. During the time, the, uh, the tensile cell will increase. Due to the interaction between the CSA and the hydrated cement product produce additional CSH CH bond. bond. Okay, for the mix contains 5% of CSA, 5% of CSA had the highest split in tensile strength compared to the control sample and the other percentage mix. And because of the uh, cement, this is because the cement TTS property of the concrete increase, which causes to the formation of better pass metric that strengthen the cement aggregate bond. 
And then as the percentage of CSA in concrete increase, the tensile strength drop. Uh, means uh, when we put, uh, means the 5% is higher than 15% or 10%. This is due to the uh, over limit of alkali content in the concrete that's allowed in cement. The mixture containing 5% of CSA gives the best tensile strength. Okay, this is the table you can see uh, starting from the day seven and day 28, the average. <clears throat> it, will, uh, it will decrease when we increase the percent, decrease the strength when we increase the mixed percentage of this A. But it will increase when we uh, <clears throat> longer the curing time. Okay, for the conclusion and recommendation, all the objective for this project is, has been accomplished. And we can say uh, that uh, CSA may react as pozzolanic material. And the workability of the fresh concrete obtained is low when we add with CSA. And the concrete with 5% of CSA produce the best result for the concrete in terms of strength. And the utilization of CSA can be tolerable to use as cement replacement. And for my recommendation, we can put some admixture uh, to, uh, to the mix to improve the workability since all the result of adding CSA reduce the workability. And we can increase the number of samples to get more accurate because in this uh, project, I just do only 5%, 10%, and 15%. Maybe we can variation of the number of samples maybe 8%, 12% to get more accurate results. And lastly, the number of mixes with different percentage of CSA should be added to clearly see the development of the concrete. Uh, the increase samples uh, means uh, from we do two or three samples. Uh, for this uh, FYP, I do only two samples. In next, because time constraint, in next project, maybe we can do three samples each. Okay, I think that's all for me. Thank you.